channel. Today we're going to do an outfit video. I thought it was a great idea to do an all white or very light outfit. I feel that sometimes it's a little bit difficult to think about outfits that are all white or that have all light colors. So I thought this was a great idea to give you inspiration if you ever want to dress like this and you don't know what to do, now you know where to come for inspiration. I think all of these outfits can be worn in warm weather, but you can also wear it in between seasons or even in cold weather. It depends on the fabric that you choose. I'm going to leave everything that I'm using today in the description, but remember that you can create these same outfits with things that you already have in your closet, or if maybe something that I'm wearing today is not available in your country, maybe you can swap it for something similar that you can find in your city or in your country. Don't forget to leave me in the comments which of these is your favorite outfit, and let's start with the video. Outfit, I chose a wide leg pant. I love these pants. They were super long so I had to cut them but I left them long enough so you can see how wide leg they are. I'm pretty sure that I haven't found in a long time pants that fit me this well so if you have a big butt and a small waist you are going to absolutely love these pants. They are not really white, they're more like a very light cream and I pair them with a true white bodysuit. Again, I love this bodysuit. It's so, so comfortable. I don't really mind that the colors don't match. If anything, I think it looks even better, a little bit more interesting, but I also put an accessory. This one is a leather belt. It has a flat fanny pack and I absolutely adore this belt. I actually think I am going to grab the same one in a different color, in brown, because I have been wearing it so, so much. I think it works perfect with everything and because I know that not everyone is comfortable wearing a bodysuit something that's so fitted to the body or showing off their arms I wanted to give you different options for you to wear different inspiration so that's basically what I'm going to do I'm going to use the pants as a base and I'm going to give you different top options that you can wear and create very different but similar styles at the same time so for this second option I'm going to use this shirt this is a plain t-shirt but this one has shoulder pads and I think it makes everything way more interesting. It just elevates the classic t-shirt, white plain t-shirt. Remember that I'm going to leave everything in the description, but if you don't want to buy a new one and you just want to come up with an outfit, you can definitely swap this for a regular t-shirt and it's going to look great. I just think that this gives something a little bit different. But as you can see, the pants and the belt are still the same ones. And of course, add some jewelry and that's going to definitely complete your look. For this next outfit, I chose some slouchy trousers. This fabric is a little bit thicker, so you can wear them in colder weather. These pants are just beautiful. The quality feels so nice. I love the detail they have in the buttons. They're like tortoise material. I added a big brown belt with a huge gold buckle. Love how these two pair together. I have been wearing it like that a lot. And again, I use the white bodysuit. Again, this is not white on white. The pants are a little bit more off-white, a little bit more yellow, but I still don't think it looks weird at all. The bodysuit is a true white though, so keep that in mind if that is something that bothers you. And I really love how the fitted bodysuit balances out the big pants, especially because I have big hips and a big butt. And when I have something that is big on the top and big on the bottom, it can make me look bigger and this really balanced this out but still I'm going to give you a different option with something that is not as fitted and it still looks great and gives your body shape that is this option over here again it's the same t-shirt with the shoulder pads the only difference is that this one is a longer shirt it really ties well with the buttons of the pants and the brown belt and that belt is what's going to give you back the waist even though you have something big on top and big in the bottom this outfit is beautiful I think it's one of my favorites you can pair it with yellow sandals or brown sandals, whatever you choose, and it's going to look casual, but very put together, beautiful. For this next outfit, I am going to wear finally true white pants. These ones are very high rise, and I love the way they hurt my body and my butt and everything. For me, it's very difficult to find pants that fit me correctly and these do. In this look, I'm also going to wear a brown belt with a gold buckle. The past belt was more like a statement piece. This belt is a little bit more classic. And this time I'm going to use this top instead of the bodysuit. It's a similar material, but this is a crop top and has some rough 
ruffles in the shoulders. I think it's so cute and so sweet, so feminine this top. I love it. If you have a short torso like me, you might find that the shoulders are a little bit long and because the ruffles make them a little bit more heavy, they tend to drop a little bit. I asked for someone to cut them a little bit under the ruffles. There is a lot of rain, I'm sorry if you hear it. In this top in particular, I decided to size up. I tried the medium and I thought it's a little bit too fitted and I just didn't feel comfortable in it, especially because a part of being fitted, it's also a crop top. So I decided to size up to a large and fix the shoulders. But again, if you're not comfortable wearing a top like this, I wanted to give you this option as well, which is the same shoulder pad t-shirt that I showed you before. This is true white t-shirt with true white pants. You can see that it looks very flawless and <laughs> clean. And if you wear this with the right jewelry and the right accessories, it can look beautiful. But I do think that when you mix the different whites, it makes the look a little bit more interesting which is why I wanted to show you how it looks with the other shoulder pad t-shirt that has the logo on it, but I still like the all white look. For this next set of outfits, I'm going back to the first white leg pants that we used before in the first set of outfits, but this time instead of the black belt, I'm going to use the thin tan belt. These are very high rise as well, so I'm going to pair them with the crop top with the ruffles. And I love this outfit, especially because the white leg balances really good the crop top and the ruffles. And for this outfit, I wanted to cheat a little bit because I know that there's going to be some of you that are just not comfortable wearing full white clothes. That's why I wanted to use a top like this. This is a very classic basic top from Zara. It's a very lightweight fabric. I really love the feeling of it. And it's more in a taupe shape. I paired it with the same white leg pants and I absolutely love this look. I swear it looks even better in person than it looks on camera. It's very very comfortable but at the same time it looks very put together and elegant if you want it to. And yeah, this is just a different way of wearing light colors without being full white. I hope you love this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and to let me know in the comments which of these is your favorite outfit. And I'll see you in the next video. Besos, bye!